Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace. My name is Priscilla and this is my husband Aquila. We're tent makers and we're also friends with Paul the Apostle who also happens to be a tent maker. In addition to being tent makers, we're also storytellers. And our favorite story to share is the gospel. And how we got to be storytellers is a story in itself. We met Paul in Corinth and traveled with him to Ephesus. During our travels, he trained us in stories about the gospel, about God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. So now, over time, we're going to share those stories with you because we love you and we want to share the good news of the gospel with you. Just like we did a long time ago in Corinth. And again in Rome. We're opening our church home to you as believers. And we hope and pray that you open your hearts and hear the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. So. Pull up a pillow, sit back, and relax and hear about the wonderful plans he has for you. Libby Lou. Yeah? I got a story. I love stories. It's called A Dark Night in the Garden. Oh, that sounds scary. Is it scary, Pilla? Well, maybe. Oh, dear. You want to read this one? No, I'll read it to you. Okay. <clears throat> a dark night in the garden, the garden of Gethsemane from Luke 22, Mark 14, and John 19. Okay. Can you see? I can. There you go. Thanks. You're welcome. The wind was picking up now, blowing clouds across the moon, shrouding the garden in darkness. Here we already Stay with me, Jesus said to his friends. They said, we'll stay with you under the olive trees. But they were tired, and soon they fell asleep. Uh -oh. Jesus walked ahead alone into the dark. He decided to talk to his heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. He knew that it was time for him to die. Oh, dear. They had planned it long ago, he and his father. Jesus was going to take the punishment for all the wrong things anybody ever had done. That's not fair. Or ever would do. Wow. Papa, father, Jesus cried as he fell on the ground. Is there any other way? to get your children back, to heal their hearts, to get rid of the poison. Mm -hmm. But Jesus knew there was mm -hmm. no other way. Wow. All the poison of sin was going to have to go into his own heart. Ooh. God was going to have to pour into Jesus' heart all of the sadness and brokenness of people's hearts. That's a lot. He was going to pour into Jesus' body all the sickness in people's bodies. Wow. God was going to have to blame his son for everything that had gone wrong, and it would crush Jesus. Yeah, that's a lot. But there was something else, something even more horrible. When people ran away from God, they lost God. Yeah. It was what happened when they ran away. Oh dear. But being close to God was like punishment. Not being close not to God. Not being close to God was like punishment. Uh huh. Jesus was going to have to take that punishment. Oh dear. Jesus knew what it meant. He was going to lose his father. Ooh. And that. Jesus knew, would break his heart in two. That would. Violent sobs shook Jesus, shook Jesus' whole body. Oh, dear. Then Jesus was quiet. 
like a lamb. I trust you, Papa, he said. Whatever you say, I will do. Wow. Suddenly, through the trees, a glitter of starlight flashed of steel. Into the quiet garden came whispers, muffled voices, clanking metal, and a sound of boots marching. Jesus stood up. He woke his friends up. Now is the time, he yeah. said gently. Everything that was written about me, what God has been telling his people all through these long years, it's all coming true. The prophecy stuff. And into the night, with burning torches and lanterns, with swords and clum, clubs and armor, they came. Ooh. An army of soldiers. Scary. Yeah. Judas led them straight to no. Jesus so that they could arrest him. Oh, dear. Jesus was waiting for them. No. Ooh. Ooh. Peter leapt out took a sword and tried to defend Jesus. Ah! Oh, he sliced off a guard's ear. Oh, my. Jesus immediately touched the guard and healed him. Wow. Peter, he said, this is not the way. No. Peter didn't realize that no army, no matter how big, could ever arrest Jesus. Not unless Jesus let them. Uh huh. Then Jesus, who had never done anything except love people. Right was arrested as if oh. he was a criminal. Wow. Jesus' friends were afraid, so they ran away uh -huh. and hid in the dark shadows. Uh -huh. The guards marched Jesus off and took him to the leaders. The leaders put Jesus on trial. Oh, wow. Are you the Son of God? They asked. I am, uh -huh. Jesus said. Who do you think you are? to call yourself God. You must die for calling yourself the Son of God. Whoa! Yeah. Only the Romans were allowed to kill prisoners, so the leaders made a plan. We'll take him to the Romans. This man wants to be our king, then we'll, then they will have to crucify him. Wow. But it would be all right. Would it? It was God's plan. God's plan. It was the reason that I was born into the world, said Jesus. Wow. There's more to come, I bet. I I hope so.